Well, hello, 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 replay viewers. <clears throat> My peeps. Waiting for some people to come in. Hello, Andy. How are you? So. Hi, Janice. Good to see you. I got the paper in the mail today. And Chris and I have just finished our experimentation. Hi, Karen. So, I went and bought this um, sample pack. And this pa this wasn't a bad sample pack. It was like um, $13 for 14 sheets of paper, $12.90 something or something like that. So, it came with two sheets of each one of these. And so I took the same picture, the same illustration, and I printed it out on each one so we can get a real even nice comparison here. So, whoop. we're going to start out with just the regular copy paper. I'm trying to not get shadows, you guys. So this is kind of, yeah, I'm trying to, um, yes, Karen, I'm trying to, uh, decide what paper would work best for them and you know I'm just just kind of playing around checking it out so I got some fine art paper to see I'm trying to like I'm spread out on my bed here so this is a little crazy but all right so this is the one I'm trying not to have a shadow this is hard this is the one that's just regular oh come on regular um, copy paper that I kind of jazzed up a little bit. Is it my camera? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to swipe it up. All right. So that's just regular, plain old, buy and buy the ream copy paper. Okay. So the next one I have is this um, matte fiber paper. So we're going to turn this over. And it's can't see it so well. I, you can see the difference. Oh, I'm trying to not get that shadow. All right, there's a difference. Obviously, this is a more of a cardboardy type paper. Yes, the tones are richer. Um, printed out very clearly. It has a little bit of a creamy color to it, but um, with the matte tone, it really looks like I could have painted it on there. So, oh, it's so hard to, like, I need somebody, I need an assistant. I mean, obviously, compared to that. So, it came out nice and clear, and this is just with um, my inkjet printer. So I have that one. Then the next one is um, a matte fiber duo. Okay. And it's kind of the same color. And that one came out pretty good too. I don't know if we can see them next to each other. The, these two are pretty similar to each other. Um, I'll have to look tomorrow when it's daylight. I actually think I like this one just slightly better. I think the detail was a little, like you could see the shadow a little better. And these were all done on the same setting. The same setting on the um, printer settings. Just the, the only thing that's different is the paper. So I have that. Now we get into... Uh, this is a glossy photo paper, so, um, let's see, we'll turn this over. And it looks like photo paper. It has a little shine to it. Um, the printing actually kind of looks more like, if you can see there by her leg, it kind of looks like I did it with, um, marker. I mean, you can see that outline there, like the black. 
Do you see what I'm talking about? How it, it kind of looks like maybe I wrote on the paper with marker. But this is a this is a whiter color than these. All right. All right. So next on the list is. This is, um, it's called Luster, and these are all pretty nice, you know, nice heavy sheets of paper. They're not like, you know, little sheet. And this one, a little bit of the same, not as bad as the fo photo glossy. It has a little shimmer, iridescent shimmer to it, but it's still printed out. Yeah. Right, and um, this still printed out really nice and clear and sharp. So, but this is still more of a photo paper. So let's see if we can get these. Let me try to hold these up. So I mean, th those are pretty similar to each other, except you can see how this one's really super shiny. And this one is a little more like a iridescent, like a pearly sort of color. And speaking of which, I think um, this is called a silk. I don't even know how to pronounce that. This is probably my least favorite one, simply because um, whatever it did, you could see the lines from the printer, the rollers of the printer. Which, that's unacceptable. So, this one's probably, you know, this one is not being in the running, really. I do, whatever the, whatever the um, cover is on this paper, the rollers just kind of, so you can see them. Yeah. I do not like that. I was like, eh. So, whatever the, like, um, whatever they put on here, it just kind of, like, went up. So, that one's kind of, like, tossed to the side. And this is called Pearl. And once again, this is, this one probably doesn't have as much shimmer and it has a little like, um, you can kind of see like a little bit of an iridescence to it, which would work for some things. I don't know if it really works for this so much. Nice and clear, a little bit of a glimmer to it. Right. And then the last one is, uh, yeah, well, here we go. This was a, this is a canvas paper. It's a nice thick canvas, but it's still, it's bendable just like canvas. Okay. And, this is what it looks like. Let me see if I could get close enough to see it. It looks, oh, can you see the detail? Yes, it's textured like canvas, and so it almost looks like I really painted on it. Yeah. So, and you can kind of see it there in the, I'm getting, this is super close up by the way. Um, I think I'm kind of liking this canvas paper for these. I mean, it, I think it's between the, the canvas and the mat. I mean, like the paper, I think you have to determine what you're using your paper for. I'm going to, um, I'm going to play around and do the embellishments on all these anyway, but I like that these are a little thicker, but I like that this is sort of has the texture, so if somebody saw it, it almost looks like I painted. Oh, I am not sure. I am not sure when you buy an individual um, package of them on the pricing quite yet. 
because my husband didn't want me to take that into consideration. So he bought them. He bought the sample pack for me. The sample pack was like with shipping and stuff. It was like twelve ninety five. I'm gonna say that's with shipping and handling everything from like Amazon. And then you got the fourteen papers to sample. I'm going to think that when you bought a packet, it'd probably be less. But, you know, it's going to be probably a little less than a dollar a sheet, which isn't bad. Yeah, it is. Um, but I think th they're all going to be probably around a dollar a sheet. Maybe a little less. So, like, these two are pretty close similar. And then this is the canvas one in the middle, which is sort of in between a white and the cream. It's like a off-white. It has the texture on it. Um, I think the background shows up a little better on the canvas. Um, probably, yeah. I mean, the, like this... Well, the, the mats aren't, you know, they all dry pretty quick. The blacks and everything are really good. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. My husband would probably have to test on that. I'm not sure. I think they're pretty much the, um, pretty much the same. I mean, we had it set on the high quality. We went to the website and, um. Uh, my printer is not a high, high enough quality for them to have an ICC profile for it, which would download all the settings. But we did some research and um, got, you know, what we comparable settings. So it was like the best photo quality, whatever setting. And this is just regular ink, too. I'm sure there is, um, like if I got into it, I'm sure there's better quality arty ink. The good news is, is all these art papers are archival paper, so they're archival quality. Um, and if I went ahead and got the uh, better ink, they I could officially print out um, certificates of authenticity from the hand. What I don't know how to pronounce it, hand and mule website. That um, they guarantee, like, if I did a, they're called um, Gleeshi prints, which are, like, the top quality. Like, those are the ones you do. Like, I'm doing one of 150 or something. So, if I got good ink, I could print out things like that if I got into that. But I don't even know if I need to do that. I mean, especially not for these, I wouldn't be doing that. And the good news is, I talked to my girlfriend down at the corner. Her, um... Her boyfriend, who she lives with, they live at the corner, he works for uh, Heidelberg, which is a huge printer company. So he's familiar with printing and all that. And he has, he does like a tile business. So he has a couple different printers and he has a big heat press at his house. We were just down there last weekend and we were putting some transfers and things on t-shirts. And so he can print out um, 16 by 20s for me. On his big press, I could buy, like, the rolls and print them out down there. And we're going to mess around with some of the, yeah. And we're going to, he said, bring some stuff down and we'll mess around next weekend, I think. We're going to try to get together and go to dinner and stuff. And um, look at my cue going out of, my lighting in here stinks so bad. And we're going to uh, print out some stuff. And mess around with his printer because he's curious now. I think he wants to print out the instruments. So we might print out one of those over there next weekend and see how that works. And obviously, I would just have to. He goes, Oh, you would you just have to pay me for some ink and the buy the paper. And I was like, Well, that's cool. Cause I could go down there and basically sort of run the program myself after he showed me. So I have those options, and it's a professional setup with the big heat press and stuff that he does for his tiles and t-shirts that I could, I could make t-shirts or different things like that too. So that's an option as well. Like, um, they're, uh,
it's not regular transfer paper. He prints it out on a, um, it's like a polyester blend sort of ink or something. And basically, the, the, when the heat hits the ink, the ink goes, doesn't go turn into a liquid. It turns, like, right into a gas. And it, like, just adheres right into the material of the shirts. So it's not like those um, transfers that would end up getting peely, peelied off. It goes right into the fibers, like the ink adheres to the fibers in the, the shirt. So it's like a printed, printed shirt. It's not, um, you know how sometimes you get those transfers and then they end up getting crinkly or peely off. It's not like that. So that might be an option too. That would be kind of cool. I know because I know I've got, I've got a couple people that said they wanted that butterfly that I use for my sign and stuff. They were interested in having a shirt of that. So, yeah, I might do some of that stuff too. We have a big citywide garage sale, like end of May. I'm thinking of maybe trying to work up a couple things and work with him and sell, see if anybody would buy that kind of stuff. But I mean, so. There's a few things in the works. If, get my name out there a little bit. I mean, I don't need to make a fortune, but it'd be nice to make a, like a part-time job money so then I don't have to have a part-time job. I could do this as a part-time job. That would be nice. But so that's the paper. Which ones did you guys like best? I mean, I think the photo ones obviously look too much like a photo, but... That'd be good paper for some other, like like a slick digital work or something might look good on there. The mats, I mean, there's two mat. I don't know if they make a difference, but yeah. So, these two are my favorites right here. Well, this is the canvas. And then... This is the mat. So, I think these two are my favorites. So, yeah, it'll be a price thing. I think it's, yeah, I think this is, I think it's kind of cool that it is textured. Yeah, it's, it is too shiny. Um, like I said, like, it, it depends. If I, it was like a digital picture, like, really... You know, something like um, CS does or something that would probably look good on a glossy. But I'm going more for a painted look. So, yeah, the next step will be playing around with all the fun stuff I bought, all my glitter and paint, now that I have the right colors. And um, I'll practice on these ones that I don't like. <laughs> And then I'll probably do up one of these, and the one I like the best, I'm going to send off to our friends, that this is their granddaughter. So I'll send them off one, and um, hopefully they'll like it. And then when she says she likes it, my plan is to say, well, Karen, her name's Karen too, Karen, if you like it so much, ooh, yummy, yum, yum. Okay, go eat. I'll see you later. But my plan is to tell Karen if she likes it so much, you know, take it to the dance studio with you and uh, say, ooh, look what I got. And if anybody's interested, you could spread my name around. So, see what happens. Anyway, so that's it. If anybody's interested in the paper, it was really good paper. Um, it came wrapped up really nice. They had, I'll say for the company, they had um, two or three layers of protective protective sheeting here and uh, it came within the week so if you're interested in trying out some paper for your work you know do nice 8 by 10s they print out nice and clean and straight um, I would recommend giving them a try uh, I'm going to go online now that I know what kind of paper I'm looking at and we're going to Probably buy a bigger pack and narrow down on um, the pricing. Um, I was at Staples or was it? I think it was Office Max or Staples or a place like one of those places, and the, they had like one or two selections. And of course, the one I wanted was totally gone, and it was still it was still pricier than online. So I, if you're looking for paper, Andy, I would look online.
And um, there's also, depending on your your um, brand of printer, there's some printer-specific paper, which then they have the ICC profiles for it, which means you could go and download an ICC profile driver, and it'll go right in and say this is the right kind of settings for whatever paper you got. Just a little info that I spent a half hour figuring out on Google. So, <laughs> all right, well, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to go make my dinner. I just was excited I got my paper, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah, to try the sample pack, like I said, and I, you know, you feel weird, like, okay, I just wasted a, it was like 7 or $8, you know, right? 7 bucks to print the same thing on each one. But I, how, how else are you going to tell? You have to print the exact same picture on each paper, so then I could sit at them here side by side and say, you know, exactly what it looks like. And uh, then we go from there, right? But it's nice to know that you could get, even with any of the other art, like I could get a decent little, you know, portrait here. Oh, well, I'm glad to have you. I know usually it's more in the afternoon because I'm usually not here and I, my, I have my family stuff going on. All three of my kids happened to be at work today. So I was like, oh, yay, my house is actually not, like, screaming with people and coming in here and yelling at me and all that mom stuff I got to do. Ugh. <laughs> I love them, but... No, no, I do. I love them. It's just, you know, sometimes... Sometimes they drive me nuts. So, I need to catch one of your scopes, Mr. Mr. All right. I'm going to go and make my chicken parmesan that I'm cooking up for dinner. And I will be back tomorrow because it's my day off. So sometime tomorrow there will be a scope for me. Um, probably working on another illustration and maybe starting my uh, saxophone. Or the other thing I'm thinking of doing with these is um, my dog portraits. So I usually do them in pencil. Have you seen any of those? Uh, it's a mess over there. I don't want to go there. But... Um, if you go to my website, if you go to Facebook, I have an art album. I have some really good dog portraits that I do and in pencil, and I want to see if I could do them digitally. So I'm going to do a portrait of my dog, Chewy, tomorrow, maybe, or this weekend, and print it out on the other one of these. So that's the plan. I'm going to glitz these other ones up with the glitter and texture paint. And uh, work on my other stuff. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow and this weekend. And it was great having you. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you out there in uh, Scopeland and on Facebook for sure. Have a good one. Thanks again.